In this video, I'm going to show you how you flash code onto the Rodent Arena Tracker, or RAT, which uses the OpenMV camera. We'll start by plugging it in via its USB port on the OpenMV camera. And then if you haven't already, you can go to the Hackaday page for the Rodent Arena Tracker, click on Files, and there's three pieces of code that we're going to need um, to, to copy onto this device. The first is RAT version 1.1 set time. This sets the time on the real-time clock, which is a little chip in between the boards. We then have real-time place preference, RTPP, and tracking, which are two versions of the tracking code. So I'm going to right-click, save link as, and you'll see that I already downloaded all three of these. We're now going to open up the OpenMV camera development environment, and we'll start by, by pulling over this set time. Unfortunately, the Rodent Arena Tracker can't get the time automatically from the computer, so you have to type it in. Um, it's a little bit quirky, but not too bad. So the year is 2020, the month is June, it's the 29th. It's currently 314, so that's 15 and 14. And then there's a couple ways to get this code to run on the camera. I'll show you one way, which is to click this Connect button, and then go to Tools and say Save Open Script to OpenMV Camera. Give it a second, and then we can hit this button up here to reset the camera. And we should see that on the screen, we get the correct date and time that we just typed in. So now that's been flashed directly to the real-time clock chip, and you don't have to deal with it again. When we want to change the code that's running on the camera now, I'm going to pull the next code over here. We'll use this RAT version 1.1 tracking. And same idea, we can connect the camera, and then we can go to Tools, Save Open Script to the OpenMV camera. Once it's saved, you can push the button again to reset it. And now this will start running this tracking camera. So that's it. Um, that's how you save code to this Rodent Arena Tracker.